Okay, this is going to be about JK Productions. If you don't know who they are, brief rundown. JK Productions is a company created by two longtime friends, Bart Kwan and Joe Jitsukawa. Their main platform has primarily been on YouTube, and together they've curated several different channels and extensions of this brand. First of them being Just Kidding Films, where they have posted skits, documentaries, and behind the scenes. This channel is now dead. This was the original channel that put them on the map. Then we have Just Kidding Party, where they play games, pranks, and challenges. This channel also died <laughs> last year. We're going to revisit this later. Then Just Kidding News, the last standing channel where they would post news articles, current events, commentary. Um, the future of this channel is hanging on by a thread. Depending who you ask, it's dead too. So as the brand grew and expanded, they added people onto the team as camera crew, set designers, editors, etc. And they maintained that they were such a tight knit group that they were like family. This is going to come up very important. Now I wasn't going to, but I actually think it's important for you guys to know who's at the forefront of the whole entire company and also point out who we're going to be specifically talking about. So there's Joe and there's Bart. There's Bart's wife, these two, this one here, love her. Then there's him, Josh. So there's also her, who we're gonna talk about right now, and then reoccurring unofficial member, him, and his friend, her. So for the most part, those people are kind of the main cast, if you ask me. They're the ones who you would see more often than not in front of the camera across all three channels. I already felt like they were a little sketch, but they just recently fell out with one of their main longtime members. And now I'm pretty sure that whole tight knit, honorable, respectable family, the whole shit is BS. So first, let's introduce Olivia Tai. Singer, songwriter, instrumentalist, composer, producer, I'd imagine. This is a poster for one of her concerts. Very impressive, multi-hyphenate talent clearly can't be fucked with. She was one of the OG familiar faces. She was around before they even reached their peak and got as big as they were. She mainly was on JK Films and JK News. Important, she also used to date one of the owners, Joe. Olivia worked with the company for two years and I believe was the first host of JK News. She also was very much influential in the developmental years and progressive and expansive years of the company where they were adding channels and merch and you know developing all these things to the surprise and ultimately the disappointment of avid viewers olivia posted a video explaining that she was no longer part of the company and also expressing her grievances with some of the things that went on you cannot find the video anywhere, and that's because according to Olivia, JK had it snatched offline. There was even a complete separate person who made a recap of her video. You can't find that either. You can't find any of it. I remember watching it long ago from my memory, and from what I've researched, the main focal point was that JK had unpaid interns who were helping them build this brand and were not being compensated. She also said that she felt taken advantage of because they were using her home to film, they were using her car, they were using her resources and she was working for them nonstop, putting out content and doing research for, you know, JK News. And she did, she did mad shit. She did so much work and actually was detailed in a video that they posted called A Day in a Life. They took that video down later on because it probably didn't do them any favors showing how much work she actually put in. Low key, high key, I think they're scary as fuck and they would try to get a video taken down. So I'm not putting any of their clips into this. However, this is not from their channel and it's not part of their. So I'm going to include parts of this vlog that is now deleted. I am Olivia and I am part of JK Films and lots of people like to call me O here. In 2007, when I was going to UCLA, I was still doing music at the time. If you guys didn't know this, once upon a time I used to sing, but now it doesn't happen anymore because I got really busy and I got old. So, you know, 
Times have changed. So in 07, I um, saw some of their videos. I thought they were hilarious. And then I found out that Bart went to UCLA. So I MySpace them. And I was like, hey, what's up, guys? You guys want to collaborate on something? You know, I also do some acting. So if you guys want to work together, that would be really cool. So then after that, we became really good friends. And then now, flash forward to 2013 now, and I'm an official member of the group. So at JK Films, what I do specifically, what you guys probably see me do most, is JK News. And for JK News, um, I really do everything for it. So I look up the articles. I have some help with that, but most of the time it's just me looking up the articles. And sometimes I don't read it very thoroughly, so if they suck really bad, which most of the time they probably do, I'm sorry. Uh, I also schedule all of our JK News shoots. I contact all the guests and try to get everything together, so semi like producing JK News. I also do all of the uploads, so whatever you see that's on all of the channels, that's JK Films, JK Party, JK News, Tommy Does Gamer. So those three, everything that you see that's uploaded on there, I'm doing the descriptions, the keywords, the annotations, or sometimes Tommy helps with the annotations. I do the admin work, so a lot of times um, for the t-shirts and stuff that you guys order, I'm the one that's making the big order to supply for the orders that you guys make. I also run the merch meetings, so we do a lot of those where we meet together and we figure out what we're going to be selling next and come up with designs for you guys to look fresh all the time, you know, with JK gear. I also do PA work on set. PA is a production assistant, and pretty much I just go on set, I have to do like sound work, or something I've never done before and then I'm just not so green at it and such an amateur and such a newbie at it but I just do it anyway because <laughs> it's fun and, well you've also seen me um, make coffee for myself on set especially if it's really early yeah. imagine doing all that shit and getting paid what according to Olivia was less than a dollar an hour now they uploaded this themselves they took it down in the middle of all this drama that went out when she posted this video because they were claiming that, you know, the hours that she said she worked and the amount of money that she said she was compensated throughout that year was incorrect. And she, and basically trying to downplay what she put in. Now, I actually was surprised by how much stuff I found, but it's so much. And basically a whole bunch of other people also got involved. One of them being someone that we're going to speak about later. So the irony there, but there actually wasn't a response to Olivia's video for a while. Whenever the company did make a statement, this is what they had to say. Hey guys, first we'd like to thank everyone who continues to support Just Getting Films. We have been uploading videos since 2007 and we have, for the record, kept our vision to teaching good things in a bad way. Bad as in sometimes vulgar, unconventional, and edgy. Along our journey, we have met some of the most amazing and talented people and we have worked with them on several projects. We will forever be thankful for their time and for their opportunity to have them on our channel. Recently though, JFK's internship policy has come under scrutiny from a previous member of the team. In response, we appreciate the overwhelming support you have given us and you can rest assured that we are operating our company and are compliant with strict legal guidelines. We consider our viewers the most important part of our channel and we are sad that a disgruntled former member chose to air her unsupported opinion to the public which we intend to respond to in a private manner. As in any company, ours is no different. There will always be someone who is unhappy with the process and we recognize that and hope to address it with that individual in a professional and courteous manner. We will keep you posted once that matter is resolved. In the meantime, we again thank you for all your genuine comments and concerns and we will continue to produce content that will make you laugh and think and we can only hope that you will continue to support us the same way you have since the very beginning. Thanks for your time. See you online. JFK family. Joe Bart, Geo, Casey, Tommy, Julia, Tiffany, Josh, Michael, Brandon. Now, those were the names of all the main players at the time. Well, I can't remember if this post went out before or after they made several comments on Facebook, you know, about the Olivia situation. Here are some of those screenshots of what they were saying around that time. They also were kind of getting on the fans too, but. Now this was the first bit of controversy that they've ever been in at this point, and I don't think they knew what else to do and how to respond, but they were on the defense heavy, especially Bart. But their side of things was that Olivia was making stuff up to get back at Joe because they had dated. According to Bart, Olivia was quote, making up accusations to damage her ex-boyfriend. The only real motive for posting this video is getting back her ex-boyfriend trying to get fame from a 1 million subscriber channel. According to Olivia, they had her video taken down because she used clips that she was in from their channel. This went on for a while to the point where other people had gotten involved, specifically David Damn So. David the Tough Guy So. David the Equalizer So. Like, let me tell y'all what David So had to say. Even though he pretended like he was going to mind his business, this is what he had to say. As you may all well know, I have been with Just Kidding Films on a lot of collaborative projects in the past couple of years. Now recently, with a bit of drama that they've been having, quite a few of you have been messaging my personal inbox about their recent situation with Olivia. Now I'm going to put it to you like this. None of your fucking business, none of my fucking business. 
fair enough it should have ended right there but of course it fucking didn't now i'm gonna skip around because it's a whole lot asking someone to dish dirt to you when it's personal business about internal affairs that does not concern you is pathetic how dare you you do not have any right to ask us about our personal lives unless we choose to share it with you so this is what i choose to share about the whole situation because it's already out there just kidding films is my family as for olivia i believe she made a poor choice in involving people that had nothing to do with their situation be wary about the information you receive about someone who is willing to say things such as professionalism in the workplace when they would post a slanderous video with personal confidential information hold on honestly i gotta do me real quick like i really can't like it's the fakeness for me. If you want to be neutral, be neutral. If you're telling people, oh, how dare you be entitled to know our business and then be like, well, it's out there. So let me share my thoughts. No, you wanted to get into it. You couldn't help. You didn't want to be neutral because not saying shit was always an option. Like, and then there was a good part of his whole speech that was like all about him. And it's like, this doesn't have shit to do with you. He was talking about him and his relationship with Just Kidding News. And it's like, if you're going to talk about Olivia, just talk about it. And then don't pretend like you're going to be neutral and then proceed to when I fast forward, you'll see call her like basically fucking stupid. Oh, and you're even dumber than that, because in the first part of the little speech, you already stated basically what side you were on and where your loyalty lies. So all that extra shit is just dumb. Like, please. OK, we're back. Be wary of someone that would only show you parts of a confidential email without a proper response. Be wary of someone who states that she wants transparency from a company when she cannot do that herself. One party wishes the best for the person, another hates and speaks ill of the other. Some of you say that she was strong because she posted that video. That is your opinion and I respect that. But how spineless is it for someone to take family slash personal matters into the eye of the public in order to gain moral support? If everyone at Just Kidding Films were so unhappy and being mistreated, why is it that they choose to stay? Why do you see videos of, videos of us hanging out, laughing, eating, going on company retreats and barbecues together? Why are we constantly around each other even after work? Why do the so-called mistreated interns live with and break bread with the people they're supposed to hate? As critical thinkers, doesn't something smell fishy about the information she conveniently choose to leave out? The situation is like you fighting with your family over a serious matter and asking the world to chime in on how shitty your family is when it should have been dealt with the individuals themselves. Okay, hold on. Let me cut in here real quick again one more time. This part really gets under my skin because he's like, oh, you guys were treated so badly, right? Yeah, okay. Well, why are you guys smiling in each other's face, right? They're so-called mistreated. Okay, as if... As if people can't have not so bad or like positive experiences within a shitty situation. And then he's taking her words very literally, like mistreated as if that means they, they had their interns clock in just so they can chain them to a wall and throw darts at them for nine hours. No, you not paying them what they're worth, especially like her who's doing all that fucking work. That's called mistreatment to me, if you ask me. So it's not literal. It's not like, oh, she never said, oh, all the interns hate them. They're, they fucking suck. They're terrible people. Like this guy has even talked about how he used to have a business venture, a failed business venture, which was an ice cream shop where one of his business partners was this shitty guy who was fucking shit up. What if people are like, oh, well, he was mistreating your business, right? This is your livelihood. Why'd you stay? Why'd you, why didn't you pull out, dummy? Her choices have gotten a lot of people involved who don't know shit about the situation and who have nothing to do with it, including me and you. Her actions were done without that consideration and now I'm stuck writing this bullshit to get people off my back. Olivia, if you read this, I don't hate you, but if you know me, I'm blunt. You're stupid, LOL, ha ha ha. I can't help but laugh about this because you made a dumb choice. You chose to get me and the public involved and this is the result. I wish you the best, but you gotta think. Maybe I fucked up just a little bit. Yeah. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Okay, hold on, hold on. In my opinion, that was a whole crock of shit. Everything he stated in his own post went against everything he was saying. Like, first it's, I'm not choosing sides. Then it's, JK is my family. It's, oh, um, it's none of our fucking business. Then it's, oh, y'all got me involved. I'm in it now. It's, you fans need to check yourself. Don't be questioning me. Okay, well, since y'all asked, I guess I have to make a statement. She lacks professionalism because she aired out, you know, personal business. Well, also I'm making this post about personal business. She aired out her family. We're supposed to be a whole group. Even though the whole nature of the company is to operate on a public platform, that is what JK is. So Olivia did not just take this to the chin. She actually did respond to David and also, you know what her sister did too, to David and the whole company, which we'll get into next. Now that's going to be in the next part along with the Josh situation. I kind of hate to do it that way, but it's super long and I don't even know if I'll ever upload it if I don't do it in parts.